Good morning. Greetings to all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Before we start our Easter service, let us bow our head and look into God in prayer. Gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for giving us this blessed time of worship. We gather here in your sanctuary, Lord. Father God, in this Easter Sunday, you are risen for us. You have defeated the power of the darkness and you are living for us today. Lord, thank you for your everlasting power with us today, this worship day. Lord, we bow our heart, we submit all our hearts, our souls into thy mighty arm, Lord. Be with us, guide us, strengthen us through this worship. Help us to eliminate all the dark forces of our life and fully submit into thy, thy presence, Lord. Be with us, guide us, strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we all rise up and sing with our choir the hymn 367, Christ the Lord is Risen. having a special order of worship for the Easter. May I request the congregation to participate in that. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, to the end of ages. Amen. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth of flow of your glory, Hosanna in the higher. Blessed is the year to come, and is again the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the higher. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, O mighty Lord. Holy art thou. Who's 
for us. Have mercy on us. Holy are the God. Holy are the Almighty Lord. Holy are the Immortal Lord. O oh Lord, the Messiah was crucified for us. Have mercy on us. Holy are the God. Holy are the You gave us hope for our resurrection. O oh Lord, while we are celebrating your glorious resurrection, make us holy and help us to be worthy to worship the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the company of the heavenly armies, now and forevermore. Amen. We should ask for blessings from the Messiah who brought joy to heaven and earth and then exuberance to his holy church. Bless us, O oh Lord. We should ask for blessings from the Messiah who shamed the Jews that crucified him and brought happiness to his believers. Bless us, O oh Lord. We should ask for blessings from the Messiah who brought joy for his disciples through his resurrection and brought peace on people at all levels. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. Lord. We should ask for blessings from the Messiah who brought joy through his resurrection to the women who went to perfume his holy body. Bless us, O Lord. We should ask for blessings from the Messiah, who informed the women that he is risen and commanded to spread the news to his disciples. Bless us, O Lord. We should ask for blessings from the blessed Lord, who gave us life through his resurrection and would take us to heaven. Bless us, O Lord. We should ask for blessings from the God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for bringing us joy through the, res through the celebration of his resurrection. Bless, Bless us, us, O Lord. O merciful Lord, have compassion on us on our day of judgment. In your tenderness, forgive our mistakes. O compassionate one, we knock at your door during our miseries. O Lord, look with mercy upon our humble petitions. O sympathetic Lord, knowing that you would open your door of blessing to repenting sinners, we come to you with a contrite heart. Heavenly Father, we are praying to you. Accept our praise and bless us. Let us praise the Almighty who promised, Call, and I will answer. Seek, and you will find, and ask you shall be given. O oh, divine Lord, Lord master of the heavens, the refuge for all the Lord, accept our worship and bless us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise to you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise be to you, O oh Lord. Praise the Almighty, to sing praises Him, seek His mercy to dawn and present our faithfulness to Him by night. O Lord, hear our prayers in the morning, while we come prepared to Your presence. 
O Lord, show mercy upon us and forgive us sin. O Holy One, extend your right hand upon us and in your holy name, heal us from the sickness of sinfulness. We ask all this in your precious name. Amen. O God, give us your grace to come to you, your throne dressed in the elegance of good deeds and adorned by honorable actions. O Lord, make us worthy to praise and adore you, together with the Father and Holy Spirit, like the disciples who are celebrating with you, now and evermore. Amen. Let us praise to the time God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise be to the Trinity. Praise be to the Trinity. We praise the uncreated, self-existent, eternal, adorable, and triune God. Amen. God the Messiah willingly accepted death and through his death saved our ways from idol worship. May all the nations come, kneel down and adore him. God the Messiah, who delighted in the human race through his resurrection and gave joy to the world by presenting the true light. May all the nations come, kneel down and adore him. God the Messiah, who caused the heavenly angels to be at his tomb, and announce the good news of his resurrection to the women who sought him at the tomb. May all the nations come, kneel down and adore him. Let us wake up from our slumber and adore the Messiah, who rose from the tomb and redeemed the world. May all the nations come, kneel down and adore him. O Lord, who gave life to the dead and raised the dead from through your resurrection, who freed us from the power of death, and comfort the saved and defeat of the devil through your resurrection. We come to your throne and plead that you accept our prayers to remove our sinful desires and make your holy and life-giving spirit spread into our body. We pray that you purify our inner thoughts that we may radiate goodness through our actions. O Lord our God, we offer praise and thanksgiving now and forever. Amen. Worship by the ancient. You are holy. Almighty, who is blessed by the cherubim. You are holy. O immortal one, whose holiness is celebrated by the seraphim. You are holy. We, the children of your faithful church, pray to you. O Lord, the Messiah, who has crucified for us, have mercy on us. You are holy. Almighty, who is celebrated by the spiritual being. You are holy. O immortal one, who is glorified by the fiery angel. You are holy. We, the children of your faithful church, pray to you. O Lord, o Lord the Messiah, who was crucified for us, have mercy on us. O God, who is praised by those above. You are holy. You are holy. O eternal one, who is worshipped by those, all those below. You are holy. Be the children of your faithful church, pray to you. O Lord, the Messiah, who was crucified for us, have mercy on us. O Lord, have mercy on us. O Lord, by your grace, have mercy on us. Praise be to you, O God. Praise be to you, O Creator. Praise be to you, O Messiah, the King, who is gracious to your sinful servants. Bless us, O Lord. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins and offenses, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Here the first part of our special worship. Kindly be seated. We'll have the first and second Bible reading.
first lesson is taken from Isaiah chapter 60, verses 12 to 21. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 12 to 21. For the nation or kingdom that will not serve you will perish. It will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you. The pine, the fir, and the cypress together to adorn the place of my sanctuary. And I will glorify the place of my feet. The sons of your oppressors will come bowing before you. All who despise you will bow down at your feet and will call you the city of the Lord, Zion, of the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated, with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be nursed at royal breast. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Instead of bronze, I'll bring you gold and silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I'll bring you bronze and iron in place of stones. I will make peace your governor and righteousness your ruler. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders. But you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set again, and your moon will wane no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of sorrow will end. Then will all your people be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. They are the shoot I planted, the work of my hands, for the display of my splendor. The least of you will become a thousand, the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord, and it's time I will do this with thee. Here ends the first lesson. The second lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 42 to 58. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 42 to 58. The sun has one kind of splendor. The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another. And star differs from star in splendor. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural, and after that, the spiritual. The first man was of the dust of the earth, the second man from heaven. As was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth, and as is the man from heaven, so also are those who are of heaven. And just as we have bore the likeness of the earthly man, so shall we bear the likeness of the man from heaven. I declare to you, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be charged in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the imperishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable have been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to work, of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Here ends the second lesson.
Mary, baptized by John, have a seat on earth. We magnify you, O Lord our King, the only begotten Son, Word of the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of the ages, who was born the Virgin Mary, the life and salvation of all mankind, without change of nature, in the Son of Man, and were crucified for us, thus snap and death on their foot, destroying it forever. You are the one who is and the worship and glorified, equally with your love, and your living and Holy Spirit, and the mercy of us. Holy are thou, O God. Holy are thou, of the apostles, the riches of your divine wisdom, and the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Enable us to obey your commands gladly, and to fulfill your holy will perfectly. Amen. The first letter of God's Corinthians. Praise to you, O Lord the Apostles, O Lord, when His grace is here in your word. In fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For as by a man came death, by a man has also come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all, me, all be made alive, but each in his own order. Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end when he delivers the kingdom of God and the Father after destroying every rule and authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says all things are put in subjection, it is plain that he is accepted all who put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to him, who put all things in subjection under him, that God may be all in all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Offer sacrifices of praise to the Lord. Come and worship in his holy courts. Sisters, let us stand in silence on reverence and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God in the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all. May the Lord make us all worthy to listen to his word. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which proclaims life and salvation to the world. 
as recorded by the Apostle St. John. Blessed is he that has come, will come again. Praise, Praise the, the Father, who sent him for our salvation. May his blessings be ever upon us. In the days of Jesus Christ, our great God and Savior, Word of life, God incarnate of the blessed Virgin Mary, it happened in this way. So we believe in the Word. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary the Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples. The one Jesus loved and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look in the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away. She said, she said, and I don't know, I don't know where, they where they have put him. At this, At this she turned around and saw and Jesus standing there, there. but she but did she not realize, realize that, that it was, it was Jesus. Jesus. He asked her, asked, woman, woman, why are you, why crying? Are you crying? Who is it, Who you, is it you, are you are looking for? for? Thinking Think he was gardener, gardener, she said, sir, sir if you have you carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramic, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. Peace be with you all. And also with you, we thank you, Lord, that you have been us your gospel, which is the light of the world, to draw us from you, and you and the name of the fire grace, we pray to you, living words of your gospel. Let us pray to the Lord for his blessings and mercy. O Lord, who is for us to all our sins, help us and bless us. O Lord, help us continually to offer praise and thanksgiving to you, to him who absolves us from our debts and pardons our sins, to him who receives penitent and rejoices in the return of sinners, to him who has promised Call and I will answer, knock and I will open and set forth my hand to pardon your sins and iniquities. To him belong glory and honor and worship at this time and all the days of our love. Amen. Almighty and glorious Lord, save us from the world of the evil one. Lord, in your grace and mercy, you took flesh of the blessed Virgin Mary and became human. Lord of Lords, do not banish us from your presence and from the company of the angels 
so continually praise your holy name and proclaim aloud that the lord god is holy show us the way of life and salvation so that we may perceive it to attain your glorious kingdom lord jesus look upon us with your eye of your mercy save us from our enemies and all that would hurt us protect us in the shadow of your cross lord jesus save us from all deceit and greed save us from all evil thoughts defilement and blasphemy lord jesus make us to rejoice with all the children of your kingdom to you and to the father and to the holy spirit we ask crave all praise and thanksgiving now one forever amen oh lord god who makes us in his righteous pardon so sins and make us holy blot out all my sins through your loving mercy good lord wipe away the sins of all you believe is oh lord god your mercy and goodness are over us our parents brothers and sisters our bishops clergy teachers of the faith and all faithful children of your holy and glorious church Lord God comfort us in body mind and spirit shower your mercy upon us be the remission of our sins make us all worthy of the good end that is set for all children of peace to you we offer praise and thanksgiving forever and ever Let us confess and together say Holy is the Holy Father Amen Holy is the Holy celebrating birthdays and wedding anniversary this week please come forward for the prayer and blessings
Give thanks to the Lord, he is good, his love endures forever. Our God, our creator, redeemer and sustainer, with a heart of gratitude, we, your children, come to your throne of grace. Thank you for this life. Thank you for all the blessings you are showering upon us each and every day. Lord, thank you for the gift of life. You have given a wonderful life. Lord, enable us to enjoy this life with you till the end of our lives. We know that you are the fullness of life and without your presence, we cannot sustain this life in this world. Loving Father, at this time, we especially pray for this your children, they have come to your throne of grace with a heart of gratitude. Thank you for being with them throughout these years. Lord, thank you for your protection, your guidance, and the amazing grace you have showered upon them as they are stepping into another year in their lives. Lord, let your spirit be upon them and enable them to walk in your footsteps and realize your presence and to live a life which is pleasing in your sight, Lord. At this time, Lord, we pray for the people, those who are not able to attend in this Thanksgiving service. Bless them and bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. May the grace, peace, and blessings of the God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, for the amazing grace and God. offer please.
O oh God of all blessings and grace, we thank you and praise you for the immense blessings you are pouring upon us each and every day. You are the God of life, you are the God of grace, and you are the God of strength. What we enjoy today is your grace, O oh Lord. Help us to understand that great truth and enable us to do our best to the extension of your kingdom. As a token of our commitment and submission. Lord, we submit these offerings into your mighty hands. Use our lives and these God offerings to the glory of your glorious name, now and forevermore. Amen. Good morning and wishing you all a blessed Easter to you. Today we are happy that our Dr. K. James Rajni is with us leading the Easter service today. I would like to offer a warm welcome to Achana and Kochama. Hani Kochama is here with us. As we know that Achana has visited many a times in our parish and celebrated Holy Communion once and uh, led different services like one day conference in our, in our parish and Achin was with us on the 40th Friday Holy Communion that uh, organized by the Southeast Regional Activity Committee. Today we are very happy to have Achin today in this uh, Easter service. Achin belongs to my native place, Kotarekara, Patamela Martuma Church. Achin's brothers and siblings all are here in this, uh, in this land, Philadelphia. So Achin will be here for, uh, for an year uh, in this place, so I hope we'll get touch and service more and more in the coming days in this year. So, may I take this opportunity to offer a warm welcome to our Rachan one more time in our parish, and I may request Rachan to lead the sermon today. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, His Son. With a heart of gratitude, we, your children, come to your throne of grace. You know who we are. Thank you for enabling us to experience the resurrected Christ once again in our lives. Thank you for bringing us safely in this holy sanctuary to experience the resurrected Christ. Lord, as your children, we commit ourselves into your mighty hands. Thank you for the word you're going to give us. Strengthen us with your life-giving word. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, our rock and redeemer. Amen. 
Thank you, Koya. Dearly beloved Benedictine and beloved in Christ, from the outset, let me wish you all a happy Easter. May the resurrected Christ enable each and every one of us to move forward with Him for a special mission to the glory of His name. I thank God for giving me another opportunity to celebrate this communion with you all, especially my dear brother Benny Achen. As Achen told, we are from the same parish. Throughout these years, we could experience and share the brotherly love. And I thank God for Achen's wonderful ministry in this parish. And as Achen is ready to move from this place to another area of ministry, I wish all success and God's amazing grace upon him to uplift the name of God in its highest. Thank you, Achen, for inviting me to celebrate this wonderful Holy Communion service and fellowship with you all. I remember last July I got the privilege to come and celebrate Holy Kurbana here, what a blessed, faithful community. I really enjoy the melodious singing of our choir. You know, a church that always be, by, be vibrant by the power of Holy Spirit. I pray that may the resurrected Christ guide you to uplift his name in our best manner. Well, today, throughout the Christendom, the church is celebrating the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the Malayalam movie industry, the movie God Life is much discussed. I am sure some of you might have seen that movie. That movie clearly portrays the pain, pathos, and real struggles of a gentleman who was with full of hope going to Gulf region and finally trapped in a desert and leading a God life. But with a vigor, hopeful life, he escaped from that trap. That movie clearly gives us a message that if you have hope in your life, you can sustain life in the midst of all its perplexities and painful situations. Remember, on the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. Why he took 48 hours or why so long for a resurrection? Why he is not resurrected just after his death? Why God waited for a resurrection after two days. That means even God was so patient. If we have patience in our lives, we can move forward. Today, as we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, that gives us meaningful message to survive this life in this world in its best manner. As we know, resurrection is the cornerstone of Christian faith. As Apostle Paul says, if Christ is not a resurrector, you are still in your sins. We are here to celebrate resurrection because Christ resurrected. That's why 
Easter is a big Sunday and every Sunday is a mini Easter. Without resurrection, church is nowhere at all. If you are not upholding the power of resurrection, we are not at all a spiritual community. Rather, it will become just a social community only. So, resurrection makes church. So, we have to understand that we are a redeemed community and the power of Christian community is the power of a resurrection. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because we are able to praise God by the power of resurrection. In the passage which we have just heard as Evangelion, that is gospel according to St. John chapter 20 verse 1 to 18. I would like to draw your attention to a word, verse 13. They ask her, woman, why are you crying? The gospel very clearly portrays the resurrection narratives of Jesus in its best way. We can see an empty tomb. We can see the perplexed disciples. They were not able to grasp the real meaning of resurrection even though their master told them before he died. Let me ask you one simple question. When we celebrate a resurrection, are we able to realize the real power of resurrection? Or are you in the clutches of fear, despair, and pain and pathos? Empty tomb an empty womb. This is a special praise in the Christian theology. The empty tomb gives us the message of hope, message of life, and the message of God's glorious power. The religious leaders of Judaism and the imperial culture of a Roman rule the soldiers, the authorities, they thought that the life or the chapter of Jesus is over by his death. But through resurrection, God demonstrates the amazing power of Godhead. My dear friends in Christ, today we are here to trust in that amazing power of our Lord and Savior Jesus. God is a God of miracle. God is a God of wonder. Without mere intelligence, we cannot comprehend the depth of resurrection. Resurrection is meaningful only when you have firm faith in Jesus. You cannot grasp the depth or the mystery of resurrection through our intelligence. That's why in the theological circle there is a phrase like this. Jesus in history and Christ in faith. Same like you and me, Jesus is a historical person. But his life did not end with his death. If you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have to affirm your faith in his power of resurrection. Only through faith one can accept a resurrection. Only through faith one can accept the mystery of a resurrection. Are we still crying because of our hopelessness and disappointments of day-to-day -day life? 
or are we finding gladness in god by trusting in his resurrective power i would like to remind you three words the first one encounter the second one experience the third one empower jack is derrida one of the french philosophers of the last century clearly describes life as like this life is full of encounters and all our encounters shape our lives and our perspective towards various life situations encounters are important in our lives here a poor lady mary magdalene encountered the resurrected christ at first sight she could not recognize the resurrected christ she was crying like anything with a heavy heart she was weeping because she had a special place of jesus in her heart very often how do we encounter christ when she realized christ is risen his tears got away and she was amazed and she was very happy and she was moving to spread that great news of resurrection remember my dear friends in christ if you don't have a clear encounter with the resurrected christ our faith will be in vain let us ask to ourselves do i have a christ experience in my day to day life how do we understand the resurrected christ do you think this is just a intelligence or it is just a dogma do you think the christian dogmas are meaningless all christian faith and doctrines are the life experience of our spiritual fathers how do we encounter resurrected christ in our day to day life when we see a poor person can you see the resurrected face of christ when our brothers and sisters are in their pathetic situation are we able to recognize the plight of jesus in their face last thursday pope francis did a wonderful thing as a part of the feet washing ceremony of their liturgy he visited a jail and he washed the feet of tall criminal ladies in the jail that was the first time in the history of the catholic church a pope is washing the feet of a lady if you are not able to encounter recognize christ in our day to day life we cannot claim we are a real christians let us seek god's grace to understand that the power of resurrection is giving us a special responsibility to seek the face of christ among the poor among the rejected dejected and the exploited one so resurrection always invites us to encounter resurrected christ in the day to day life of our earthly voyage so the second theme that is experience 
as we know christian life is a life of christ event why do we here through the body and blood we are experiencing the mystic presence of god that's why mother teresa said like this every day early in the morning i experience christ through bread through the body and blood and after my worship i experience christ in the streets with the poor people how is our resurrection experience early christian community experienced the power of resurrection that's why they could celebrate their life in the midst of their struggles and challenges remember your christ experience your is your asset i know we all are experiencing the amazing guidance and wonder of god in different situations in, in our lives last 36 days as a family we were undergoing a pathetic situations or a tense situations in our lives our elder son he was admitted at the chop hospital children's hospital of philadelphia due to some abdominal challenges doctors decided to do his surgery to remove his large intestine but the amazing healing touch of god made him whole i praise and thank god for that wonderful healing god has given them i know many of our people prayed for him yes god is a god of wonder god is a god of power if we completely trust he cannot move away and he cannot act in his appropriate time always trust god he will take right decisions at the appropriate time my dear friends a resurrection challenge us to experience god in its fullness in the midst of your pain pathos struggles uncertainty god is always there as a guard god is always there as a shield god is always there as a protector because our names are he engraved in his heart we all are unique beings we are special people that's why some says like this our taste and see that the lord is good our taste and see the lord is good each and every day let us live with an experience of empty tomb that empty tomb experience gives us that he is not a god of death but he is a god of life life in its fullness with that power let us move forward the final tem that is empower the ultimate responsibility of a christian is to empower others for a special mission after receiving the news of resurrection what did mary magdalene do she was running like anything to share that good news jesus is risen jesus is risen jesus is risen indeed early community early christian community when they gathered together they always celebrated the slogan christ is risen christ is risen christ is risen indeed hallelujah when we experience the resurrected christ we cannot stand still the resurrected christ gives us a wonderful responsibility 
that responsibility is to be an ambassador of his resurrective power in this earth daily beloved in christ god has given us another opportunity to celebrate easter in this blessed manner thousands of christians they are not able to gather together like in this easter sunday especially in nigeria and other middle eastern countries you know that because of the religious fundamentalism and terrorism but god has given us protection guidance a faithful community how much we are obliged to him our responsibility is to empower others with the power of resurrection death is not the ult of ultimate end of human life but it is the beginning of a new life death is not the ultimate end of human life but it is the beginning of a new life new life in christ that is the real message of easter so we are not the ambassadors of death or the good friday but we are the ambassadors of the resurrective power of god for the redemption of the whole world so let us move forward with this wonderful news god is not a god of death but god is a god of life god is a god of power god is a god of strength as we conclude our meditation here let us have an introspection lord how do i encounter you how do i experience you how am i empowering others may the grace peace and blessings of the resurrected christ be with us and continue to witness his glorious name and power wherever we go thank you god bless let us bow our heads in prayer let us spend a moment of silence and as for god's amazing touch resurrected power on our lives let's pray gracious loving father You are a God of life. You are a God of miracle. You are a God of strength and love. It is because of your love you came down to this earth and gave your life as an atoning sacrifice. You have resurrected, thereby you prove who you are. but very often in the midst of our challenges and hopelessness we are not able to realize the amazing power of our god very often lord we weep like mary magdalene without understanding the reality help us lord to understand that your amazing grace is with us and your presence is there as a shield in our life voyage lord help us to encounter you in each and every moments of our life help us to experience you in its best way with hope and enable us to empower others with christian love for that we need your grace we need your power help us to be ambassadors of resurrection wherever we go once again thank you for the word thank you for this blessed community continue to be with us in jesus name we pray amen, amen. thank you achan for the powerful message let us pray to the lord those who come prepared to receive the holy table please stand in respective place and repeat the prayer of confession after me 
സർവശക്തിയുള്ള ബാബാ തമ്പുരാനെയും നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും ലോകത്തെ രക്ഷിപ്പാനായി തൻ്റെ കൃപയാൽ വിശുദ്ധ കനികമറിയാമിൽ നിന്ന് ജനിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി കഷ്ടത അനുഭവിച്ച് മരിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് രക്ഷ നൽകിയ മിഷിക തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും സകലത്തെയും ജീവിപ്പിക്കുന്നവനും ആശ്വസിപ്പിച്ച് ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കുന്നവനുമായ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവാൻ തമ്പുരാനെ നിനക്ക് വിരോധമായും ഞാൻ ചെയ്തു പോയ സകല പാപങ്ങളെയും ഏറ്റുപറഞ്ഞ് സങ്കടപ്പെടുന്നു സത്യമായി അനുദപിക്കുന്നവരെ കൈക്കൊള്ളുമെന്ന് ഞാൻ വിശ്വസിച്ച് സകലത്തിലും പിഴച്ചു എന്ന് ഞാൻ ഏറ്റുപറയുന്നു വിചാരത്തിലും വചനത്തിലും പ്രവൃത്തിയിലും ഞാൻ പിഴച്ചു നിൻ്റെ കൽപ്പനകളെല്ലാം ഞാൻ ലംഘിച്ചു നിൻ്റെ ശിഷ്യയ്ക്ക് പാത്രമാകുകയും ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നു കാരുണ്യവാനും കൃപ നിറഞ്ഞവനുമായ കർത്താവെ ചുങ്കക്കാരനെയും പാവിയായ സ്ത്രീയും കുരിശിൽ വച്ച കള്ളനെയും കൈക്കൊണ്ട പ്രകാരം എന്നെയും കൈക്കൊണ്ട് നിൻ്റെ തിരുവചനത്തിൻ്റെ തണുപ്പാൽ എന്നെ ആശ്വസിപ്പിക്കണം കർത്താവെ ഞാൻ അനുഭവിക്കുന്ന തിരുശരീരവും തിരുരക്തവും എനിക്ക് ശിക്ഷാവധിക്കും കുറ്റത്തിനുമായി തീരാതെ ജീവനും രക്ഷയ്ക്കുമാക്കി തീർക്കണമേ ആമേ I confess that I have sinned against you O Father Son and Holy Spirit in thought word and deed I am sorry with all my heart for this my sin I believe in your promise that you will receive all those who truly repent O Lord who is merciful and full of grace accept me even as he accepted the public and the woman who was a sinner and the thief on the cross comfort me with the consolation of your word o lord grant that your holy body and the holy blood in which i now partake may redeem me from judgment and condemnation and bring me to life and wholeness amen May God Almighty be compassionate to all of you who have truly confessed your sin. God has freely forgiven your sin to make you worthy to take part in this holy communion. Amen. you live lord pray with me that this service may be acceptable to our lord oh lord we have in our church door we come to your house we pray for your blessing sanctify our servants by your truth oh lord hear our answer prayer for people you will promise for to the king to be in our midst we pray for make us to aid us your people is it all people so oh god and lord of all make us worthy to greet one another with the kiss of peace free from all insincerity and united in love to your father and to your only son and to your holy spirit we give you praise and glory now one forever with you in the love of our lord god let us greet one another in peace may the love and peace of our lord jesus christ abide with us forever may the love and peace of our lord jesus christ sisters have we received this holy and divine peace let us bow our heads before the merciful lord gracious lord we bow before you merciful father you the lord high it condescend to look upon things that are lowly bless now those who have bowed their heads in your presence with the grace of your holy son 
with whom I am with the Holy Spirit, you accept all praise and glory now and forever. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us participate in this Holy Kirbana, which is now offered to us with commitment, reverence, humility, period of heart, love, true faith, and devotion to God the Father, to whom all things belong, is offered the sacrifice of grace, peace, and praise, and the spirit of unity and concord. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and communion and abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all dearly, beloved, forever. So May our hearts be with Christ on high. Our hearts straight on the Lord. To sing praises and worship the Creator of all things. Assuredly is good and right. Who is adored by the heavenly hosts and I'm moved on all the stars, the earth and seas. And all that dwell there, angels and archangels, thrones and powers, cherubim and seraphim. Ever proclaiming. Holy, holy, holy is Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of His glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is He who has come, send us the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When the sinless one of His own will chose to suffer death for us in His, He took bread in His holy hand. Bless us, O Lord. He gave thanks. Bless us. Sanctify. And broke it and gave it to his apostles, saying, Take it. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. In the same manner, he took the cup. Bless the Lord. He gave thanks. Bless her. Sanctify. And gave to his apostles, saying, Drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Thus, as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. O oh Lord, we remember your death, we celebrate your resurrection, and we await your second coming. May your blessing rest upon us all. O oh Lord, as we remember your death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and look forward to your second coming to judge the world in righteousness and truth. We offer this service and sacrifice, entreating you not to deal with us according to our sins, but according to your own abundant mercy and saying, Have mercy upon us, O Lord our God. We give thanks to you, we glorify you, we worship you, O source of all goodness. Have mercy on us and bless us. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord. Answer unto us, O Lord, by your grace, our mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Sanctify this prayer that it may be the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Holy Spirit sanctify the wine in this chalice that it may be the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord, sanctify the bodies and souls of those who receive these gifts 
that there may be fruit for the stability of your holy church establish a family your holy church founded on the rock of faith against which the gates of hell shall not prevail and preserve her to end from strife and error to you with the son and to the holy spirit we offer praise and thanksgiving both now and forever Look with mercy O Lord on your holy church throughout the world on all the bishops who bear the burden of leading and guiding the church especially our father in god the metropolitan theodosius marthoma the moderator of csi and cni archbishop of the anglican communion our diocesan episcop abraham r paulos and our other bishops the sovereign metropolitan yuaki markurlos and joseph mar bandabas and the other bishop thomas mar timotheos isaac mar felixnos matthew mar makarios gregorios mar stephanos thomas mar titos sekrias mar aprim joseph mar ivanios matthew mar serafim priest deacon and evangelist faithful members of our church and seekers of the faith Lord we remember all who exercise authority in various countries especially in this country give give it to each one your holy spirit that they may diligently walk in your way near Lord have mercy Lord remember the mother of our Lord the blessed virgin mary the holy apostles the prophets the preachers the evangelists the martyrs the confessors and all the saints Lord remember the three councils of Nicaea Constantinople Boniface and all the holy fathers who participated in them make us worthy to follow in their footsteps Lord we also remember all the faithful who were departed and fallen asleep in the true faith grant that we also may with them be counted worthy of the remission of our sins and be gathered into your heavenly kingdom Lord have mercy Lord we thank you for the beautiful universe that you have created in the life and the possibilities of it forgive us oh lord for we have distorted the universe for our greed and selfishness help us oh lord to be good and faithful stewards for the fulfillment of your will lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy lord Of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, be with you all dearly, beloved, forever. And with you also. Let us continue to intercede. Let us pray for the people, those who are in the misery, those who are rejected, those who are facing various challenges in their lives. due to war famine diseases and other pain and pathos lord you have taken all our burdens and you have rescued us from the clutches of sin and death when we remember the victory of resurrection enable us to remember that we are a people of victory and the powers of evil cannot conquer our lives especially when we are living in a world of turbulence challenges pain and tribulations lord we need peace peace in its fullness especially let us pray for the people those who are living in the what let us pray for the people of manipur gaza ukraine thousands of people are struggling due to various challenges lord give peace to 
or our brothers and sisters. Help us to be ambassadors of peace wherever we go and enable us to reflect your energy through our lives, our words and deeds. Let us pray for this country, all those who are exercising authority, especially the legislature, judiciary, press, and all those who are ruling for the benefit of the society at large. Lord, enable them to uphold the values and to serve the people for the betterment of this country. Let us pray for our church, bishops, clergy, and all the faithful members of our church. Lord, you have given us a special responsibility that is to proclaim the power of resurrection wherever we are. Help us to encounter you each and every day in faith. Enable us to experience you in hope and help us to empower others with the deeds of love. Thank you for all the ministries you have given as a church. Let us pray for this diocese, our diocesan episcopa, and all the clergy, and all the faithful members. Especially, let us pray for our church, all the families, especially let us pray for the wonderful ministry of Beni Achan. Thank you for the numerable blessings you have given us through the ministry of Achan's to this community. As he is getting ready to move, let your abiding presence with Achan and enable him to reflect your nature through his ongoing ministry. Let us pray for the children, youth. Lord, help our children to grow in your stature and enable as a parish to proclaim your power through their collective worship and other noble ventures. At this time, let us pray for the sick and needy. Let us pray for the bereaved families. Let us pray for the people who are requested our prayers and we are supposed to pray. Let us remember our parents, brothers and sisters, our cousins, our friends, and all those who have requested our prayers. Once again, as a parish community, community let us submit ourselves and pour all our worries, our challenges, our pain to the amazing grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. O oh God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, make perfect the offerings and oblations presented before you. Sanctify your bodies, souls, and spirits so that with pure and confident hearts, we may address you as God and Father and pray, our Father in heaven. Hallowed be your name, may your kingdom come, may your be born our presence in heaven. Give us a stay our daily bread, forgive us our sins, and forgive those who sin against us. Do not raise the time of trial, but deliver us from the evil of one. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May the grace, mercy, and blessings of the holy and glorious Trinity, uncreated, self-existent, eternal, adorable, and only innocence be with you all, dearly beloved, forever. And also with you, O holy and glorious Trinity, have mercy upon us. Holy things for all the holy people. Holy is one Father, holy is one Son, holy is one Spirit. Glory.
Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. One from the beginning, forever and ever. Amen. The unholy Father who created the world in His mercy is with us. Amen. The unholy Son who saved it by His precious passion is with us. Amen. The only living Holy Spirit who makes perfect and fulfills all that is and that has been is with us. May the name of the Lord be blessed as in the beginning, both now and forever. Amen. Now as we come to your table, we from the dead. Therefore, we praise and exalt you. O Lord, every mass shall sing your praise. O Lord, who gathers up the children of Adam from everywhere, bless us and help us. O Son of God, your death has changed our death, death into life. Raise us from the dust, so that we may ever praise you. God the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit, is worthy of glory and worship forever. Beginning and from generation to generation, may he be praised. Hallelujah. O Son of God, who came for our salvation and will come again for our resurrection and for the renewal of our grace, grant we pray for giving us our sins to your servants through your own atoning sacrifice. Amen. Oh Lord God, graciously bless you, your children, who partake of your most precious body and blood, which was given on Calvary for the forgiveness of sins, that they may abide in your presence forever. Amen. The blessings of our God and Savior Jesus Christ be on those who bear these sacred mysteries, on those who dispense them, on those who receive them, and all those who have participated and who shall participate on them. The grace and mercies of our Lord and Savior be with us now and forever. Lord, have mercy and bless us. Glory and praise be to you, our Lord and everlasting refuge. The holy body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
broken and shed on the Calvary for the forgiveness of sins are given to you for the health of your body and soul.
the holy body and blood which you have partaken be not for our condemnation but for life and salvation to us all o oh god grant us your blessing o dear Praise you, Lord, because in your abundant mercy you have fed and strengthened us with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and you have thereby made us one with Him and with all the members of His mystical body. We pray you to give us grace to continue in that holy fellowship and ever to offer glory and praise to you and your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. Amen. blessings of the holy and glorious trinity depart in peace with the gifts and blessings that you have received from the atoning sacrifice of the lord amen you both near and far who are served by the victorious cross of the lord and seal the seal of holy baptism this holy trinity will forgive your sins and comfort your soul amen Pray for us, brothers and sisters, weak and sinful as we are, that we may obtain mercy and help. Depart in peace, filled with gladness and rejoicing. May the Lord accept the ministration and help us find our prayers. Amen. Kindly be seated. We'll have the announcements for this week. May I request Parish Secretary Alina John to come forward and to do the announcements. Before that, I request the choir to sing the special song for the Easter.
morning. A big round of applause for the choir for the beautiful special song. <laughs> Happy Easter. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Um, a YFF is co coordinating the Easter egg hunt today after service. So all the children up to grade fourth, uh, please uh, head over to that entrance and wait for the Easter egg hunt. Okay, March 31st. Uh, thanks to uh, Reverend Dr. K. Jameson for joining us for this blessed Easter Sunday and leading today's service and for his thought-provoking message highlighting the power of Jesus' resurre resurrection and the hope that we are blessed with as a result of it. Uh, I will request uh, Sam Kuti uncle to uh, read the Kalpana in Malayalam. Uh, it's regarding our Achins transfer and the new Achins uh, appointment. Kalpana, Malayalam thala idu vanda, jaa bai kamiya. Malengera Sliga Shaiya Sumbas Nathan de Metropolita, Dr. Theodosius Martha Mailnum. Kalpana number 126, Nuchi Dwatar. Namade, Delver Valley, St. Thomas, Martha Mile, Kartavil Priere, Ningle Day, Vigari, DVS3, George Vargis Patamala Kashishai, Jandai Tirivutia, May or May Masa Monandi, the Mudal, Abadanum Vidarti, Kotare Karapanelur, Dice, Bishop Secretary. I Chumadali Lake in the image. Athena Shambalam Vagailo, Mati Nangalillo, Kudishiga Undangil, Ada Kurta Dirta, Yada Yogim Yatra Aikana. Doctor Alexander Marthoma Metropolita Munuti Arvutanja number circular Kalpanil Paranirikina, the Dasha Pragar Matrame, Idavagal in the Nachan Marade Yatra, Paridu Shum, Nalguan, Anibada Mulu. Idava Sangat in the Tirumana Pragaram, Patras and Addition de Rega Mulangia and Livicata Idin Vidamai Paridio Shion Nalgana Trustodam Badek Vidam Iriku and the Idavaga Trustile and Spiripigino. A Pragaram Paridio Shion Patakar Wang another Nima Vidamala another Senate in the Nidesh Pragaram and Spiripigino. Ningle de Vede Pudia Vigariai, Divis three, Pilipos John Cassise, Jendai Tirivatial, May Master Mondandi the Mudal, Nime Cherikin, Attend a Sambala Eleven Sadi Aiva, Tarapra in the Ragar and Nalgenda Dane, Jendai Tirivatial, Irivatin Gile, Attend Adistan Sambalam, Irivan Iriti Munuchi, Irivatinja, Indian Duway Atre, Ningle de Vede Vigam. Dollar two thousand eight hundred and eight Tendairiti Enuti et dollar due dollar Agando Athen Mara Sambla scale Padinairam bar Munuti Rivatanje, Irivanairiti Rivatamba bar Nanuti Rivatanje bar Irivata Yayam two thousand five twenty twenty five thousand bar Anure. Mupadanairam bar Arnore Mupata Yerti Nanura Agunu. Andu Dormula increment de Dandairi Tirivat and April Masam Mudal Nalgadam. Dandairi Tirivat and April Masatil Ar Masate Angular Service Hilatu Raka Dandairi Tirivatar April Masam Matrame increment de Argadevlu. Achena Edavagil Thomasicha Pravartik in the Thomas Avery Nalgadam. Baska make a weather better than the Jolie Lathavacham, Adisa and Sambalatan Day, Amba the Shadaman and Gudi, Family Eleven Sai in the Gadam. Weather better than the Jolie Latha, Baska Mayamar, Achama Rodapam, Parsonal Thomasik in the La Engil, Family Eleven Argadam Dairik in the La Jolie Lirik in the Baska Mamar, Pension Petialum, Salkali Avdi Idanalum, Family Eleven Argadam Dairik in the it is not in Pathera number circular company, Arichetula Bragaram, Thomas of William, Kamapati to Lay Dabogalil, Patakar, 
കുടുംബമായി താമസിച്ച് സേവനം ചെയ്യുകയായെങ്കിൽ കുടുംബാലോൻസ് നൽകേണ്ടതില്ല ഈ ഇടവകയിൽ നിന്നും ശമ്പള ക്രമീകരണ പട്ടിലേക്ക് വികാരിയുടെ ഒരു മാസത്തെ അടിസ്ഥാന ശമ്പളം ഭദ്രാസന ഓഫീസിൽ പ്രതിവർഷം അടയ്ക്കേണ്ടതാണ് പട്ടക്കാരുടെ പെൻഷൻ പെണ്ടിലേക്ക് വികാരിയുടെ അടിസ്ഥാന ശമ്പളത്തിൻ്റെ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ പെർസ് പതിനഞ്ച് ശതമാനം വരുന്ന തുക ഇടവകയിൽ നിന്നും അടയ്ക്കണം പ്രസ്തുത തുകയും പ്രൊവിഡൻറ്റ് ഫണ്ടും അച്ഛൻ്റെ ശമ്പളത്തിൽ നിന്ന് പത്ത് ശതമാനം ഇടവകയുടെ വിഹിതമായ പത്ത് ശതമാനവും ക്രമമായി സഭ ഓഫീസിലോ പത്രാസന ഓഫീസിലോ അടയ്ക്കണം പട്ടക്കാരുടെ വൈദ്യ സഹായ പദ്ധതിയിലേക്ക് വികാരിയുടെ അടിസ്ഥാന ശമ്പളത്തിൻ്റെ നാല് ശതമാനം വീതം ഇടവകയും പട്ടക്കാരനും അടയ്ക്കേണ്ടതാണ് ഇതിൽ പട്ടക്കാരും വേണ്ടതായ നിർദ്ദേശം നൽകണം പുതുതായി നിമി നിയമത്തിനായിരിക്കുന്ന അച്ഛൻ്റെ ശുശ്രൂഷ എല്ലാ വിധത്തിലും ഫലപ്രദമായി തീരുന്നതിന് നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുകയും തികഞ്ഞ സഭാ സ്നേഹത്തോടുകൂടി സഹകരിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് നിങ്ങളെ പ്രബോധിപ്പിക്കുന്നു നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് യേശു മെസ്സിയുടെ കൃപ നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരോടും കൊണ്ട് ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപത്തിനാല് മാർച്ച് പതിനാറാം തീയതി തിരുവല്ല പുലാത്തിൽ നിന്നും ഡോക്ടർ തിയോഡോഷ്യസ് മാർത്തോമ മെത്രാപോലീത്ത അച്ഛൻ്റെ ഇൻകമിങ് അച്ഛൻ്റെയും ഔട്ട് ഗോയിങ് അച്ഛൻ്റെയും യാത്രാ ക്രമീകരണങ്ങൾ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ജോർജ് റൈസ്റ്റ് അച്ഛൻ ആൻഡ് ഫാമിലി ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് ഏപ്രിൽ ട്വൻറ്റി സെക്കൻഡിന് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് പോകും ന്യൂയോർക്കിൽ നിന്നായിരിക്കും പോകുന്നത് ഫിലിപ്പോസ് ജോൺ അച്ഛൻ മെയ് സെക്കൻഡിന് ഫിലഡേൽ ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ എയർപോർട്ടിൽ വന്നിറങ്ങും ഇതാണുള്ള ക്രമീകരണം Thank you, Uncle. Even if I knew Malayalam, that was very hard. Mm. <laughs> uh, worship schedule for next Sunday, April 7th. We will resume uh, English Holy Communion service at 10.30 a.m. Uh, you, Chaplain Achin, Reverend Jeff Jack Phillip will be leading the service. And Sunday school will resume at 9.15 a.m. Uh, I have just added the schedule for uh, the upcoming Sundays um, with Achin leaving and the new Achin coming. Uh, you can see it on the slides. Uh, the only main uh, change is the first Sunday of April is in Malayalam. Sorry, first Sunday of, uh, is in English and the second service is in uh, Malayalam, which is a change from a normal monthly. Um, then uh, we have our spring cleaning of the church outside and inside scheduled for April 27th. So please try to make yourself available and join us in making our church cleaner. So if you complain about the church not being clean, this is your chance to come in and help <laughs> clean the church. <laughs> More details to follow. Sunday school announcements. Sunday school classes will res resume next Sunday, April 7th. Uh, and then bake sale is the Sunday after, April 14th. Contact bake sale coordinators Jancy Verghese and Linda Chaco for details and to contribute. Seviga Sangam. There's a Bible study this Wednesday, April 3rd at 10 a.m. at the Parsonage. Prayerful participation is requested. Care, a reminder emails, uh, reminder notices, uh, please register for the upcoming Family Matter Seminar on April 20th, all the young and youth families. Reminder again, Care is still collecting clothes and food items till April 10th. Please donate generously. Checks, cash, and gift cards are also accepted. Fellowship hour, uh, we have tea and snacks arranged in the social hall, so please participate before you leave. Guests and visitors, uh, we have few names. Um, our Reverend Dr. K. Jameson and his wife, Hani Kochuma, are attending service with us. They are members of the Kotarakara, Mala Marthoma Church, uh, same as Abeniachin. They're visiting uh, their children and family in Philadelphia. The children are members of Christos Marthoma Church. Uh, so you're welcome. Uh, our uh, Arun uh, Cyril Thomas, account number 143, his family is visiting from Boston Marthoma Church. Uh, his parents, Rajan and Leela Thomas. Uh, and also his brother and family 
Honorable Cecil Thomas and Sindhu, and their three children, Isaiah, Elijah, and Joshua, are also visiting. You're welcome. And then we have Sam Kuti uncle's niece and husband. Uh, niece is Dr. Anshu, and husband is Prince. They're visiting us from Canada. They're also members of the Kotarakara Matapmala Church, same as Vinayachal. <laughs> Welcome. Are there any other guests or visitors? Oh, welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me end with the thought for Easter. The resurrection gives my life meaning and direction and the opportunity to start over no matter what my circumstances. It's by Robert Flatt. Have a blessed week ahead. Thank you, Alina. Once again, I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and indeed uh, wishing a very warm and a blessed Happy Easter to all of you. May God bless you all. I take this opportunity to thank Reverend Dr. K. James Nachan for the profound leadership today in our worship and in our sermon. And uh, thank you, Achan and family, for your continued prayers and presence with us. I, I would like to thank our choir for the marvelous singing today in this Easter Sunday. So extending thanks and greetings to all. Uh, at the very outset of my transfer, I allow to uh, thank you all for your prayer, love, encouragement, and fellowship that you have given during my ministry here in this place for the last three years. Indeed, it was a blessed uh, fellowship with you all. We, as family, could experience your love and your prayers, enormous prayers and fellowship from all those who are sitting over here in this sanctuary this morning. Thank you all for your prayers. So kindly uphold us in your continued prayers as we are transferring from this place to Kerala for our new appointment. So honestly, I thank all of you for your prayers and fellowship. And uh, I would like to express my humble opinion that I love to hear from all of you your uh, genuine opinion, your honest opinion about my ministry. Either positive or negative you can write to me to my email. So feel free to write to my email, Reverend George Varghis at gmail.com. So feel free to write to me. And I consider and I treasure it is very most important so that I can mold my ministry in the coming years too. I hope so. So, and I can assure, assure that all, all this, what you are writing to me will be very confidential and I keep it in my, my hearts. Thank you for your encouragement and praise. Thank you all. Shall we rise up? Oh. Sorry. One thing, uh, we leased a car. Um, uh, it's the Toyota Highlander uh, this week, and we gave back the old one, which was the Toyota RAV. Uh, incoming Achin has three kids, so uh, that car was small enough. Like, yes. it's small that we cannot accommodate three car seats, so we got the new car on lease. Uh, Thanks to Shaji Thomas and Sam Kuti uncle and Anil Thomas for working out a very good deal. Um, we got it for, I think, $556 per month lease for three years. I will be sending out all the details in the emails, uh, but thank you so much. I know uh, Shaji Bhaiya and you know, Anil Thomas and Sam Kuti uncle worked very hard to get us that good deal. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Truly appreciate Thank you for the Easter gift. Shall we all rise up for the closing prayer and benediction? James Natchin will lead us. Our God of resurrection, with the power of resurrection, we are moving from this place to our own places. Enable us to be a real witness. Help us to glorify your name through our words and deeds. Thank you for being with us throughout this worship. Help us to realize your presence always. And let us be empowered by your spirit always. 
once again thank you and praise you for all the goodness you have given us keep us safe as we are moving from this place bless us with your spirit in jesus name we pray may the abiding presence of our god and savior jesus christ be with us now and forevermore amen, amen. Thank, thank you thank you very much